Hey, this is Max. Welcome to another CSR2 video. This time, we're going to talk a little bit about the Maserati Ghibli SQ4. This is not the Stage 6 effects video. This is a tune-in tip for the Supply Cup that everyone is uh, going through now. Because this car has unique fusions and it's a unique car, uh, chances are you may need to run these supply cups and there are no other cars available really for you to use other than this particular car. And if you're relatively new and the car is relatively new to you, you may not have the fusions and the parts to fully upgrade the car or even upgrade it to a point where it's going to run the supply cups easily or get tuned easily. However, I am going to give you a relatively simple way to get through this supply cup. And on this account, at least, as you can see, this car is pretty much brand new. Let me show you the parts that I put on it. I basically upgraded the car only to the stages enough for me to tune the car. So three, three, four, basically nitrous, tire, trans, at the minimal amount required to get tuning started. Let's go to tune and take a look. What happens with this car is it likes short duration nitrous, okay? And it has an aggressive final drive tune. Let me reset everything first so you can see where everything is when you first get into tuning. So you have basically zero Evo, but just by putting the tire to 53, you gain a few. And then the trans, you leave it alone. But what you'll see is that when you go tweak the nitrous, things will be better. So trans, we're going to leave it alone, but nitrous, we're going to put it to a lower point. 2.0 seems to like a really good point for it. The car likes 2.0. So 1.9, 2.0 seems to be better, right? So we leave it at 2.0. Now, sit up like this, the cart is your basic setup for running decently fast in the quarter mile, but not great. Slow half mile still because it's not upgraded, but 10.813 quarter. When you try to run it though, depending on how you drive it, um, you may or may not be able to hit dyno. In fact, it's not that hard to hit dyno, and in fact, you can get under dyno by using nitrous a little bit later if you use it in like third gear or something. Uh, but let's just run it like a normal car with second gear nitrous and see what happens. Oh, a little late there, but ah, a little early on that shift. So because the car has relatively quick shifts, and if you tune it aggressively with upgrades, it's going to get much quicker than that. It's a little hard to catch all the shifts and get a good run out of it. But that doesn't mean that you can't. Um, it just makes it harder. And when you're doing the supply cup, a bad shift could mean another run. So here I only ran like a 11.04 versus what it should be doing is a 10.813. That's not so good because supply cup is structured based on your dyno. And if you go into supply cup like this, you're going to have a much tougher time. Let's go do a supply cup run real quick. Let's see how it compares currently. Remember, this will be my first supply cup run, and that will be some of the easiest you'll deal with. But let's just see what the competition looks like without fine-tuning the car. Okay, here we go. I'm going to run it. Again, nitrous later would be better, but, you know, when you shift, you tend to... Oops, hit nitrous in a second again. So uh, that's not going to be the greatest run, but... It should be still okay, but notice how close the opponent is to you. This will only get worse as you go further down the supply cup. When you get to the later half of the supply cup, the opponent may very well run right on your time or better, making it much harder to win. Now, I still ran a 10.896. I think if I used nitrous in third, I would have actually gotten it lower and probably could make it through the supply cup just this way. But let's try something a little easier. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tune this car to defeat Dino by a substantial margin that I can use. So how do you determine that? First, you look at your final time, right? Uh, final speed, 145, which is right about here. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at all these gears. We have Right now, we're on seventh gear. If you move it to eighth, it doesn't make it better. The Evo goes down, but that's not necessarily helpful because that doesn't help you beat Dino. But if we move it the other way and we select a lower gear, let's just say fourth gear fifth gear or sixth gear, depending on which gear. You start moving it this way and you watch the Evo. That's a drop, but it's kind of a small steady drop. 
At some point, what we're looking for is a large drop. Oh, right there. Something happened. It jumped from 30 to negative 300. Negative 34. Negative 300. Ah, now it shows the 11,418 dyno. But we should be able to hit better than that. In fact, we can hit the old dyno of 10.8 or so without much of a struggle. Now, I should have put that to quarter mile. I forgot to. Okay, anyway, we'll run it with the half mile. Here we go. The main thing is here you got to launch late. Okay, you can use nitrous in second, third, but probably not fourth because by then the car's already uh, struggling to move. Um, you lose the acceleration and the time you need in the beginning. So second or third with this setup uh, would work easily. Here, you notice I just ran a 17.6, which is what we dyno before the Evo was tweaked. And I ran a 10.93. That wasn't the best. I could run easily a 10.8 something. Uh, but again, that's on the 11.4 dyno. So here, our chances are much greater that we're going to make an easy time out of the supply cup. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to supply cup. I'm going to run it. And let's see what happens this time. Okay, here we go. This time, the opponent should be dynoing it at a 11.4 to challenge you, so it's going to run a lot slower. So the supply cup is one of those cups and trials that relies on your car's dyno. So here I am going to be way ahead of them, and therefore I could probably make it through the entire 25 races now without much of a headache. Not everybody likes to do it this way. You can certainly beat the supply cup with the car with the regular tune. I'm not saying you can't. All I'm doing is I'm going to show you a little bit of an easier way to do it if you want it. Okay, everybody's different. Some people like a challenge. Some people like to have to do things 20 times to get through. That's up to you if you like that. I don't really want to waste my time on supply cups. I just want the fusions. I want to move on. And that's why I've developed this particular strategy to do it. So again, just to show you that it's not a fluke, we do another one, no problem. Okay, and this will be consistent all the way through to the end. So even race 25, you're not likely to have an opponent running 10.7s against you. So there is the easy supply cup tip and tune. I hope this one will be helpful to you. Um, again, 10.9, 11.6, pretty easy cup. Uh, from here on, once you get more fusions and more tuning, things will be a little different. But the overall strategy doesn't change. This car actually stays this way with the ability to kind of tweak down about 300 EVO or so all the way uh, to near maxed. Uh, when I get my car fully maxed later next week, when the PC Cup starts, I'll do the stage 6 effects for everyone. Uh, but not the most fun car to drive when it's fully maxed at max EVO. But again, it's a tunable car to some degree, so it's not a total loss. But generally speaking, those of us who went through the first Prestige Cup with this car hates it. That being said, um, just to recap real quick, you have a little bit of a aggressive nitrous, tweak the final drive to get what you need, and leave the tire at 53 and you should be fine. Hey, I hope that was helpful to you. Um, let me know what you think. Some people may disagree with my strategy, but I like what I do with this. Finally, as always, thank you for watching my video.